Hey everybody out there on the internet, welcome to a Phantom in Review. I'm a week late to the party, but let's talk about Fur Affinity. It had a little bit of an update, an interesting update, and I kind of like it. So let's go and review that right now. This is going to be what this is going to be reviewing about. So without further ado, let's get right to it. And let's use this fancy little seed switcher and go BOW! Look at that! Right on there. So this is the uh, update page here. It explains to you, blah blah blah, this is how this thing affects you, this is where it is, this is how it is, and so there it is, and there's our little advertisement, there's our comments, and oh my god, all the comments, I don't want to read them because I don't know if they're appropriate. They're kind of like YouTube comments, you don't want to read them. They're so bad that they tell you to be civil right on the news article. Anyways, so this kind of goes over the general idea and stuff like that. You've probably already read this if you use for Avidity, because you probably noticed the changes and you're like, what the heck is going on? And oh my gosh, what's going on? And so let's just use this video and I'm going to go over really quickly what the changes look like. So on a user profile page, um, such as myself, um, you notice that the advertisements up here are gone. Right now, just for you know clarity's sake, um, it's uh, basically, it's a... Uh, Disabled right now. Ad blocker is disabled, so all ads are visible. There's no ads here, which is interesting. And so there are ads down here now. As much as and the interesting thing, it's interesting to me because when IMBU first moved in, they were really pushing the ads. So the fact that on the user profiles they're almost non-existent is actually quite interesting to me, and that they're all down here now, which is kind of cool. Um, I think it's kind of a change for the better in that case. Um, where the, what has changed, however, is um, what happens on the actual art, and we'll go to that, and we'll use kickback and relax as our example. Um, so right here, this is the header now. So basically, this is the bottom of the header banner. They've actually condensed the header banner, which is actually very good, and I think it's a very positive change. Um, so they've condensed this header banner to the top here. Um, so this is the actual art thing, which is probably what you're going to be looking at most of the time. Um, unfortunately, this is where you can start to see the advertisements crop back up. Because the these, these, these three ads here used to be in the header section. And so they would be visible when you were looking at your profile picture, when you were looking anywhere in the site. These three ads here would be visible everywhere because that's, you know, what they were doing. Um, so that's kind of how that one works. Um, and now this is kind of how it looks with this on. Get your flu shot. Don't judge me. I'm an anti-vaxxer. Yeah, judge me. Very much judge me if I'm an anti-vaxxer. Uh, so, anyways. So there's the ads down here, and these ones are always kind of in the footer. Box sauna. What the heck's a box sauna? See, now I'm even curious. So, here we have these things. And so, this is what it looks like with ad blocker off. So let's turn it on real quick and see what the difference is. And refresh this page. So this is what it looks like with ad blockers off. Now, there are certain critiques I will make about the ads. Now, no one likes ads. No one ever likes ads. Ads are sucky. The one cool thing about Fur Affinity that I've always found praise for, even if they've had hiccups here and there in the past, is that they have these community-based advertising, which actually kind of influences users of the web page to say, oh, well, maybe I might not want to use ad blocker because you know, I might find something interesting I'm interested in, in, in as far as art goes and as far as thing goes. And I think that's very unique to this web page and furry web pages in general is that we have user-centric advertising. Um, obviously, you don't get as much, probably don't get as much revenue as from the bigger companies like Google and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, it's still a revenue. Revenue is revenue, right? Money coming in is money coming in. Um, so that's actually been kind of a cool staple in that, you know, I don't know how other adver you know, how other companies are going to be able to compete with something like that, especially when going for general audience. I know newspapers have always been struggling with that. So they've been kind of going on this whole, turn off your ad blocker kick, you know, that are, you know, doing that thing. We need to eat. You know, the whole guilt tripping into trying to get you to look at ads instead of, you know, saying, oh man, this advertising viewing experience is wonderful. You know, make it interesting, make it awesome. It's like if, 
Advertising is an art, guys. You know what I mean? You gotta start treating it like one. Make people want to enjoy the advertising experience. Now, and furries are good at art, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> we have some interesting little ads and stuff like that, and we have some not so interesting ones. So, you know, it's, it's trial and error. But anyways, advertising aside, so basically, I like this, the thing I like most about this here is that the verticality is a lot better. Because it used to be that this ads here and this ads here were shoved up in the header items. This information down here, all this information was shoved under the piece of artwork before the comment section. I could actually see the first comment from where I'm sitting. Just from here. And it used to be that I wouldn't be able to see the advertisement until probably around here, or the comments until right around here, because all this stuff was shoved up in here. So while the, the horizontal, like there was a lot of horizontal room, there was a lot more vertical space. Now the sacrifice to that is that the art itself kind of is a little smaller, but you can always click it and it always gets bigger. Which brings me to my next point. Um, to me, this stuff here should be down here because this should be tied with this and it's, as, you, as I said, with the, with the ad blocker turned on, you could see this is where I think it should be. The ads should be like here. All the ads, all three of them, the furries and the things. And I, and I find this one the funniest thing about this update is that the furry ads and the, the normie ads are quote unquote normie ads are segregated. <laughs> It used to be that they were kind of sharing the same space, and now it's like the, it's as if the Norby ads are like, dude, I don't want to hang out with you guys anymore. You go to your own room. We'll, you go to your own little boxes, and we'll, 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 we'll be in our own little zones. See, I'm here. I, here's my Normie ad. Here's my Normie ad. Here's my furry ad, and here are my furry ads. Furry ads are moved to the back of the, <laughs> the back of the web page. Go to the back of the web page. Get out of here. Anyways. But no, these ones are up in center, so these ones are actually in good prime time location. Um, the ones at the bottom of the page, sorry. Uh, but this one's at the bottom of the page here too. So, so they're equally segregated to their own sections, okay? Um, this one though is super prime time. This one right here is in a very, very almost ethically inhumane space and the reason I use such crass words to describe it is because let's say I'm a little inebriated and I'm using this web page who would go to for affinity inebriated but anyways besides the point and I said I like this picture I want to click on it and makes it larger hey look at that I'm like this Rue he's he's having a good time um what if my my mouse finger accidentally ends up a little bit down here in this zone so basically, it's in the it's in the zone here. I mean, this zone's pretty freaking huge. I mean, if you misclick it, then I guess it's your own dang fault. But I guess on some of the smaller works, I don't know how small they get. It could be very possible that you accidentally click the ad instead. And not only that, but the ad is encroaching so much on the artwork that you can't really view the art without you know seeing the ad unless you click the enlarge button. And then it's like, okay, cool. But when you have the smaller version, it's like the ad sort of takes away viewing you know your eye sort of is drawn to the ad as much as it is there and that's why it's somewhat obscene this one right here is somewhat obscene um, from where it used to be it used to be above this banner here so that's like my major thing now the interesting thing about the side banner is that when IMVU first took over like they basically tried to use this as like completely advertisement like and and furries reacted to it like not well. So much so that they had a, fam a famous piece of artwork where they had like like two lovers embracing one another and like like one like they were two individuals embracing one another and it seemed like they were having an intimate moment but the guy but the guy hugging the gal was was looking at the ad banner so his his viewing ship was in this direction and he could see the ad and he had the scowl on his face and he was flipping at the bird like he was angry at this advertising thing being on the right side. So it's good that something good came out of that little experiment of theirs, that they have an actual sidebar. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an improvement for the better, and um, I hope that they keep moving in sort of this direction. Obviously, um, the two things I would look at is these two ads here, maybe move them down here, this ad here. 
I don't know what you're going to do about this one since you kind of have, seg you know, have modified the header to be a lot shorter. But this one here is kind of obscene. And so it's like that. So when I go to when I go to disable ads and I turn that on and I go to here, those are the two main things that like are the big takeaways. Like this is much better here and this is sort of much better here. So how you you know make it so th those two ad groups there are not as obtrusive to the user so that the difference between ad blocker on and ad blocker off basically is no longer existing to the user experience that's sort of the best of things you know the best you know the best things for that now obviously pushing advertising so that it never gets clicked on is never going to help anyone but you should never have nefarious clicks which means that somebody accidentally clicked this box dad because it's near this boxing kangaroo for instance so that's basically my just and my my premise on the whole update thing so that's about it let's go back to the review to the review camera hey back seed switchers cool glad I learned how to use it anyways uh, that's it for this video but this is not this is the only video I'm going to cover about F8 because last time F8 had an update like this there's something else going on that they really probably don't want people talking about, but it did happen, so it needs to be talked about, and it's important to discuss in my mind because it's important to the user base to know when certain events are going on. So, um, next video we're going to talk about in this group of two things about Fur Affinity is there's additional leaks that happened um, over the course of the last week. There and so since they're off topic they're going to be in this next video i'll click on i'll put a linky box up there we're talking about it we'll talk about the leaks what they mean to you and what they are so thank you very much for watching kick the like kick the comment kick the subscribes talk my face off and have a great wonderful day getting the hop out of here thank you very much for watching have a good one